Good evening, everyone. Come on, gather in. Come on, get closer. David, Kim, Colton, come on, a little closer. Dave, not so close to the fireplace, David. David, Kim, roll David around, put him out. Panda, Mary, Mary, I got your uh, letter to Santa. I am not bringing you enough explosives to blow up Tony's. Marla, great to see you. That had to be a long flight to get here. All right, everyone here. Carrie, yeah, I see Carrie. Ah, what a great crowd we have tonight. Mary, Panda, behave. Stan, separate Mary and Panda. All right, guys. Tonight, I'm going to read a Christmas classic. A Visit from Old St. Nick. Or as you may know it, Twas the Night Before Christmas. Originally published in 1822, under the author's name Anonymous, no one really knew who wrote it. Over 30 years later, someone stepped forward, and that man was Clement Moore. And to this day, he is still credited with writing the book. Well, and a visit from old St. Nick. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children would nestle all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her cap kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprung from my bed to see what's the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon's on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes should appear? But a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his corsairs they came and he whistled and he shouted and he called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, on Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane wind, when they met with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the Corsairs, they flew with sleighs full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkle, I heard on the roof the prancing and pouring of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turned around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in furs from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ash and with soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like rose, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth. And the smoke it encircled his head like a reef. He had a broad face and a little round belly. That shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, 
and right jelly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings that turned, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside his nose, he gave a nod and up the chimney he rose. He sprung to his sleigh, to his team, gave a whistle, and away they flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.